Welcome to Accelerating Zero Emissions Delivery, Innovative Finance to Transform the Last Mile. Why Zero Emission Shipping? The current diesel-based model for last mile delivery poses serious threats to public health. Air pollution causes and worsens medical conditions at all stages of life, from childhood asthma to stroke, heart disease, and dementia in the elderly. All around the world, 7 million people die prematurely from exposure to air pollution. Warehouses and distribution facilities where diesel trucks gather exacerbate exposure to air pollution. Often these facilities earn low wealth in communities of color. On the other hand, many global companies have climate goals, but have not yet started to translate these climate goals into zero emission shipping. The time for zero emission shipping, especially in the last mile, is now. The demand for home delivery that was already increasing before the COVID-19 pandemic shows no signs of slowing down. As we just discussed, the health impacts from air pollution from those diesel trucks are significant and often concentrated in vulnerable communities. The good news is that the vehicles are ready. The last mile zero emission use case is perfect for the zero emissions vehicles that are ready now. No mechanism currently exists to get zero emission shipping into the supply chain of companies that don't own and operate their own vehicles. One of the significant challenges is that often even quite large companies contract with quite small carriers to do the last stage of delivery. These carriers may have anywhere from one to five vehicles and do not have the credit or the cash on hand to purchase a zero emissions last mile vehicle which is often a significantly higher upfront purchase price than a diesel vehicle. The zero emissions delivery zone financing model fills this gap. It's especially useful to get zero emissions vehicles into the hands of these smaller owner operators. We'll discuss three models today. First model is a sponsorship model. The corporate customer pays upfront for the difference between the purchase price of the standard diesel vehicle and the zero emissions delivery vehicle. The carrier uses that vehicle in regular operations and provides back to the shipper discounts on the regular monthly spend for shipping. Second, a company may sign a long-term contract with a guaranteed monthly minimum spend. This gives the carrier the comfort they need of future cash flow to go out and purchase, lease, or otherwise acquire a zero emissions vehicle. Third, a corporate shipper may sign a long-term contract with an EV manager that does two things. First of all, it promises to use the zero emissions vehicles that the EV manager will buy. And second, it promises to require its third-party carriers to go to that EV manager and use the zero emissions vehicles that the EV manager provides. In all three of these models, there's an important role for finance, it might be public finance, perhaps lower cost than standard market terms, and in some cases there may still need to be purchase incentives for those zero emissions vehicles until the upfront cost comes down or other aspects of the costs over time of the vehicles are better known and better able to be financed. One of the important advantages of the said zone financing model is that it enables a corporate shipper and their partners to focus the health benefits of zero emissions vehicles in neighborhoods that need it most. New research has shown that air pollution exposure can vary significantly even from one end of a city block to another. For example, in Oakland, in California, exposure varied five to eight times from one block to another, with the result that elderly people living at the more toxic end of the block experienced a 40% greater increase in risk of heart disease and death. We see this pattern in many communities where warehouses are gathering. This is one example of a residential community right up against a line of warehouses. A dense residential community experiences greater health risk from asthma and other uh, combined social vulnerabilities. 
At the same time, there are social infrastructures like schools and churches, which mean that people are right up against diesel trucks coming and going in their daily life. When a corporate shipper works with its partners to sponsor zero emissions vehicles, those depots could be selected and prioritized to be in communities experiencing the greatest social vulnerability or the greatest health threat from diesel trucks. For example, uh, a corporate shipper who sponsored 15 zero emissions vehicles operating under standard operating conditions would see a result of $1 million of health benefits each year in the community around the depot where those zero emissions vehicles were prioritized. As you've seen, there are important roles for many partners to play in making zero emissions delivery happen. Corporate shippers, even when they don't own or operate their own vehicles, have a very important role today to play by committing to only purchase zero emissions shipping services in their supply chain and in some cases offering new kinds of contracts, for example, long-term guaranteed utilization of zero emissions vehicles in order to provide certainty for their partners to go out and acquire those vehicles. Right now, there's an important role to play for public and private debt that might be lower cost than standard terms, meeting ESG commitments and helping get vehicles on the road. State and local governments have an important role to play for incentivizing zero emissions vehicles, for example, by providing preferred access and other benefits to zero emissions vehicles. And finally, there are new roles to play for new market actors, for example, EV managers who go out, buy the vehicles, figure out how to operate them, and develop a bench of corporate customers who want those zero emissions vehicles to be available to their carriers. Thank you, and good luck.